I'm Derek Fleming. I was a Soul Train dancer from 1980 to 1993. Well, how I became a Soul Train dancer is that I was at a club in Orange County, and Jeffrey Daniels of Shalimar happened to be the judge of the contest that night. And I knew it was Jeffrey Daniels because a lot of people said that we were very similar. So once I won that contest, I asked him, how do you get on Soul Train? And he signed one of his albums and put his phone number and said, call me, man, I'll let you know. So I called him and he told me when the taping was and I went down to Soul Train, got in the line like everyone else. The first day that I got there, um, I immediately, you know, they said dancers on the floor. And I came down, I thought, okay, I didn't say who goes where, so I just went right up on the stage. And so the floor director, he said, hey, come down, you can't be up there. And I was like, why, what's the big deal? He goes, I'm the one that puts people there. And I said, well, how do I get up there? And he said, well, if you beat this man right here next to you, I'll put you on stage. And so whoever that was, I wore him out. <laughs> and he put me on stage. And then from that point on, I just regarded myself as being able to be on the stage. As I went on, you know, we grew up in the age of the Supremes and Michael Jackson and the Izzy Brothers and everybody on stage, they were flashy. So I had the knowledge of knowing if I just went there and wore what somebody else wore in a club, I'm not going to get sought after. So I started stepping my game up and just experimenting with different looks and a friend, her name is Liz Rivera, said, you know, when I'm looking on Soul Train, it's hard to really pick you out because all the guys are tall and skinny. You know, I mean, she obviously knew me if the camera came up to my face, but just seeing the silhouettes, she didn't know that, right? So I started wearing my foxtail on Soul Train. Um, when the girls would stand next to me, they'd say, can I play with your foxtail? And they'd just rub on it. But this is one of them. This is not an original one, but this is one I've had for about six or seven years. But when I started wearing that, they just, instead of calling me Derek, they would call me D-Fox. Me and Louie were kind of tight when we first got on Soul Train. So I kind of emulated some of the things he did. Sometimes I wear a suit, sometimes I go casual. And then I just learned as I evolved, every season I would just change my entire look. The Soul Train line was so much fun, but I was a person that didn't really care to do the Soul Train line because it was individual. It's two things about my personality. I'm shy, but then I know when it's time to give the goods, I give it. So getting in the Soul Train line was a spotlight, and you're there with all the dancers, and Dom would go down the line and choose and pick the dancers that he wanted to, or the floor director. And sometimes I would do a routine with somebody, but there wasn't like a lot of work to the routines. It'd just be at lunchtime, we'd make something up, uh, eight count or 16 count, and go through it, and the camera, your turn, boom, you just, through that routine, so some of it was spontaneous. Most of mine was spontaneous. I just did, you never knew what songs were gonna come on. Song came on, where you were in line, what you saw is what we did. Everyone knows who Diana Ross is, so when it was one of my first times being close up on camera, so getting to ask her a question and the camera being so close up on me when I saw that on television, that blew me away, because who gets to really talk to Diana Ross? and especially have it on film forever. Almost every time Tina Marie came, that was memorable for me because that's my favorite singer. She happens to be white, but she blow. So every time she was there, those are my favorite moments. I will absolutely do it again in a heartbeat. So I'm just proud that we taught America to dance. We taught the world to dance. <laughs>